good morning afternoon or evening to you wherever you are viewing this presentation from i am olufemi aditunji a newton international fellow from university of lincoln uk i'll discuss reimagining loss of cultural heritage in changing climate this presentation is connected to heritage nature-based project funded by the british academy I'll start this presentation by providing brief overview of the study of the study, explaining the aims and methods adopted for the study. I'll also discuss the results and findings and provide detailed conclusion. Cultural heritage play a vital role in shaping the identity and development of Nigeria as a nation. It encompasses a wide range of tangible and intangible elements, including traditional art forms, music, dance, folklore, language, cuisines, historical sites, and traditional practices. These cultural elements not only reflect the rich history and diversity of Nigeria, but also serve as a source of pride and unity to its people. Beyond many tangible and intangible heritage across Nigeria, there were strategic sites listed on the National Heritage Register. There are 65 declared and 112 proposed national monuments on the National Register as shown in Figure 1. Recently, the National Monument, both declared and proposed, were grouped into 18 typologies and more than 25 value types. If you see table one, this table one refers to the typologies of the national monument. However, these national monuments are constantly threatened by climate change and extreme weather events as shown in figure four. Larger parts of areas in the north are experiencing dusty haze, causing poor visibility, while the south is strengthened by thunderstorms and heavy rainfall. Other risks affecting cultural heritage in Nigeria are rising sea levels, increased flooding, coastal erosion, extreme weather events, changing temperatures and humidity, and changing soil conditions. This risk adversely affects protection of the cultural heritage site. For example, on October 17, 2022, larger parts of Nigeria was flooded, resulting into destruction of houses and infrastructure, including many historical buildings and museums. Figure 4 and 5 explain the exposure of states to flooding. However, lack of comprehensive understanding of this impact further complicates efforts to protect and preserve Nigerians' cultural heritage. However, researchers conclude that if measures are not taken to mitigate this risk, uh, Nigeria could lose important heritage sites and cultural landmarks, which such as ancient archaeological sites, traditional villages, historical buildings and structures and cultural landscapes. The cultural identity and traditional knowledge associated with this heritage site are lost or at risk of being lost. This, as in, this is impacting the social fabrics and sense of belonging within the communities. The preservation of Nigerian cultural heritage in the face of climate change is a complex and urgent issue. Efforts therefore need to be implemented, not only to raise awareness about the impact of climate change or culture, on cultural heritage, but also to develop adaptive strategies that will help communities to accept loss of cultural heritage site. In the two figures on the screen, uh, it's ref these are the images of two heritage sites, uh, Gidon Ndama Museum in Agugu Kepi State and Osho Shobo Sacred Group. Osho Shobo is one of the world heritage sites in Nigeria. And we could see some of these are some of the impacts that are in, in 
traceable to changes in climate that are affecting the heritage site. Before I go forward, I want to reiterate that Nigeria's climate has been changing rapidly uh, and this is evident in increases in temperature, variable rainfall, rise in sea level and flooding, drought and desertification, land degradation and more frequent extreme weather events which has affected not only the cultural heritage site but also the fresh water resources resulting into loss of biodiversity. Uh, the changes in climate are significant across the ecological zones with temperature and rainfall as the key climate drivers. Based on the background of this study, uh, this study examines imp the impact of climate change that affect cultural heritage and investigates people's responses to loss and damage of the heritage site. To achieve the aim, I selected five heritage sites listed on the National Register in Lagos and interviewed 18 key stakeholders from the communities, heritage organizations, and policymakers. The history and identity of the heritage site offer a glimpse of the experiences and artistic past of Lagos, which is one of the key cities in Nigeria. The selected sites include National Theatre in Igomu, Christ Church Cathedral in Marina, the first two-floor building in Nigeria, and other slave heritage sites that are located in Badagoy. I'll give a glimpse of what I found out. First, there is urgent need to preserve cultural heritage sites not only to protect the materiality and history of the site, but also to leverage the significance of the heritage site in addressing wider challenges affecting the community. Part of the challenges include food insecurity, high youth unemployment, and environmental degradation. Cultural heritage carries the history, tradition, and values of the community, making it an irreplaceable source of pride for its people and a source of identity for individuals and communities. One of the participants who I interviewed, who is a local chief, explained that many active sites, especially the ones close to the Atlantic Ocean, were destroyed between 2010 and 2015 due to intensified, due to intensified ocean, ocean shock. Therefore, preserving heritage is not only for the present generation, but also for future generations, as it allows future generations to connect with their roots, their history, and understand their cultural identity. Second, the communities express that to address loss, loss or damage of heritage site, more people from the community need to understand the cause of the heritage damage an eventual loss and importantly strengthen local capacity to adapt to climate change. The participants also agreed that deterioration of heritage sites are becoming more rapid with combination of slow and sudden impact. Based on the findings, I developed a tripartite process that will help communities to accept and cope with loss and damage of heritage. The tripartite process identifies the place, process, and people, which are the three important components of acceptance of loss or damage of heritage site. The process identifies that loss and damage of heritage are not limited to economic or tangible aspects, but also extend to intangible dimensions such as indigenous and local knowledge and cultural practices. While climate continues to shift and extreme weather events happening more frequently, communities need to be empowered and supported before, during and after climate disaster. Some of the strategies we identified 
as capable of strengthening community connection to heritage and promote community involvement in conservation and management of heritage include digital archiving and adoption of virtual museums, adaptive reuse, nurturing living traditions and practices through oral histories and culinary rituals, eco-heritage tourism, and climate resilient conservation and management practices. However, due to complexities involved in addressing climate change, communities and heritage professionals need to appreciate loss as potential generative and emancipatory, in which new values, attachments, and connections can be facilitated. Therefore, actions and interventions on dampening conservation, restoration, and sustainable management of cultural heritage helps communities to better adapt, mitigate risk, and adapt to and cope with climate hazards. In conclusion, the study demonstrates that accepting the inevitability of loss of cultural heritage helps in forging new connections within communities with heritage. Also, communities are supported to develop resilience, which thereby communities are encouraged in to adapt and finding innovative ways to preserve and celebrate and pass on their heritage despite challenges. Inno second, innovation and creativity. Understanding this helps communities to understand that some part of the cultural heritage may inevitably change or disappear, which prompts communities to innovate and create new forms of expression and engagement that incorporate elements of the old heritage while reflecting contemporary values and realities. Third, it encourages cross-cultural exchange. Communities may engage with others who have similar experiences or share common heritage roots, leading to the exchange of ideas, practices, and tradition. Fourth, reinterpretation and revitalization, which involves delving deeper into the historical significance of certain customs or artifacts and finding new ways to reintroduce them into contemporary society. Here are the, uh, re, uh, the literature I consulted for this study, and the, the list is quite longer than this. I just put few of it, few of them here. Thank you very much.